Okay, I just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I bought here and there, not even on the same day. Um, some of it's been because I've been Christmas shopping, other things because I've been finding stuff for the house and some personal stuff that I've needed. So as I've gone to the store in different times, I found different things. And I wanted to share this one thing with you. Um, I, if you've been watching my videos, you know that last year, I suffered a huge, huge allergic reaction from neck on down to my feet. And I itched and itched and itched so bad to I bled. I ended up in the emergency room. I've been to UCSF. They did autoimmune disease tests, which they found arthritis. The only autoimmune disease that they found was arthritis, which I've already known for years that I had. Um, they were kind of thinking lupus, but thank God. It wasn't lupus. Um, and then they had did a skin test. I went to an allergist. He said it wasn't something that my skin touches. They were thinking it was shrimp because I had just had shrimp two days and it takes that amount of time to know you're allergic. And so I stopped shrimp for months, but then I went to other doctors and they were saying, no, I don't think it's something that you're eating. And so sure enough, I ate shrimp again and no problem. So, um, and thank God, because I love shrimp. But they never really found the concrete reason. Um, they just gave me a lot of medication um, to get the itching away. I have some scarring on my feet. We see that I itch so much. Um, but they never really found the concrete reason. And they're waiting for me to break out again, which I hope I never do. It was horrible 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 to have that itch for weeks and months and big old rashes and not know if it was coming from a soap and i changed my whole lifestyle i changed my soap i changed my lotions in fact only one soap and one lotion works for me and um i changed you know my laundry detergent i completely changed my lifestyle to make sure it wasn't something that was I was ingesting or against my skin so I did everything on my part so I would need to and it finally went away and it hasn't come back in like over a year um but I would have to break out again for them to do um scrape skin off and do kind of like a lab test to really find the direct answers to what happened but I don't want to break out again so but if I ever do I would have to call them right away go to UCSF and have them do the test um so God forbid I ever have to go. I think, I hope it was a once in a lifetime thing, but if I ever do, that would be my option. So anyway, I'm really sensitive to my skin. Even before that happened, like in my um, chest area where I'm really sensitive to um, certain type of um, bra materials, like I can't stand anything lace. It makes me itch and itch and itch. Um, I can't stand anything under the boob. I can't wear wiring. I can't stand anything under the boob that feels like it's cutting me or that I can even feel it between the boob and the stomach area because I'm really boob heavy. I have huge boobs, huge. And um, so they're heavy. So I would need a bra. The wire bra would be perfect for being boob heavy, but I can't stand the wiring. I need something that's a soft material and that doesn't crinkle up under um, my boob and the stomach. So, you know, I like can't win for losing type of thing. So I've been on this journey forever to find the right bra, which gives me support that's comfortable and that's soothing to my skin. And so the other day, me and my daughter went to Ross and I saw these Juicy Couture bras, the only bras that were my size, actually. I'm um a 46 double D, almost 
I've even fit 48 double Ds. So, you know, you can't really tell in this shirt. This is my cleaning shirt. Um, that my boobs are really big. Huge. And people might say that's an asset. And I'm sure it is. But I want to be comfortable and love life too. Um, I told my husband, maybe I should do a breast reduction. It, But it doesn't hurt my back. So a lot of people do breast reduction because it really hurts their back. Um, so, no. That's not an option either because um, I don't have any pain or any discomfort. It's just in the type of bra that I wear. So I found these and I'm hoping to God that they work. Um, and I'm going to show you right now. So I found these. It came in a three pack, but I just took them apart because I was going to try one. But this whole three thing came together. So it's a three pack. You can see it's Juicy Couture, which is my favorite brand. Um, it's a 2X, which is what I normally wear in bras, or the 46 or 48 double D. Um, it was only $14.99 for the whole three set, which I didn't think it was bad, especially being Juicy Couture. Um, they gave me like a 10% off because it had like a little stain here. You could barely see it. Looks like a water stain right there. See? Right there. But, so it was only a dollar something, but something is better than nothing. Um, I'm definitely going to wash them. Um, I don't wash them all the time. I usually just directly put it on, just like when I buy clothes. I don't wash them before I put it on. I know a lot of people do sheets. They wash their sheets before they put it on. There's been many times that I don't do that, and I've been completely fine. And sometimes if I have the chance or the moment, I'll go ahead and do it, but it's just... A call here or there. So this is the pink one and it comes with the soft padding, but I usually take these paddings out of here. So it usually has, because my boobs are too big for it. So it has an open slot here where you can take this padding off, which I hate to do that because the padding actually makes your boobs look rounder, but they just don't work for me. So I'm going to try and if it works for me, great. And if it doesn't, like as always, I take it off. But see, I liked it because it's a stretchy material. It's really, really soft. Let me see if I can. Oh, you can't see it. Let's see. See, it's a stretchy material. So it looks, it's very beautiful. And it has all the three colors that I like, especially black and gray. I usually go for white and a cream tone color as well. I usually don't totally go for pink. But if pink comes with it, I'll get it. But um, if these brows work for me, hopefully they'll have some more later on and I can get a cream color one and a white one if they have it because I like to have like those four colors, gray, black, cream, and white. Um, but I did get the black and gray, so I'm just missing the cream and white. If they ever get it back in, um, I'll definitely get it. And if these bra, this bra works for me, it kind of looks like a sports bra and uh, because of the way the backing is, which I'm not a fan of this backing. Only because I like just a regular strap bra. Um, but this is okay. These are usually what I usually wear to go to the gym and exercise in. These type of bras. And I've had this material before. I had this style bra before. The whole thing. And they've been okay for a while. And then they're not my fav my cup of tea after a while. So I'm hoping this is different because the material looks like a better quality it just looks different to me. And so I thought for $14.99, three pair, a three pack bra is not a bad idea. And they're normally, here it says $54. I got it for $14.99. So I'm going to try one and um, tell you what I think. Lately, I, I had three bras that were more or less good that I kind of was trying to stick to for dear life because that's all I had. And they were the most comfortable that I found so far, but they weren't the ultimate bra that I need. Or that I would like. Um, but smart me, I decided to put it in um, bleach because they really need it to be bleached because they get stained from the color of my shirt. So I wear a lot of black and dark blue. And so no matter how much I wash them, they still look dirty. So I thought if I put them in a bucket of bleach overnight, be good. That was too much. It totally stretched out the shape. It totally tore up the bra. I couldn't get the smell out. It was crazy. I should have just put it in for a little bit, hour at the most, washed them with detergent, made them smell good, and they probably would have been great. But I was left with no bra. It was really weird. So I was wearing tank tops. 
um, under my shirts like I wear what I, under a lot of my shirts, and it was serving as a bra, but my boob was hanging down, so I was like, oh my God, this is, it was comfortable because I don't like being tight, I don't like being pressed, so as soon as I get home and I'm not going anywhere, a lot of times, most of the time, probably 99% of the time, I take off my bra, re-put back on my shirt, and just be comfy, comfy around the house. I can't sleep with the bra. My daughters do. I think it's insane. I just like to be comfy and loose. I don't want to be tight and fitted, even if it's comfortable. But the restraint part, I just don't like. So I'm going to try one, and I'm going to put one on today, probably the black one because I'm wearing my black and white clothes. So I'll probably wear a black one. And I'll let you know if it worked out for me, how it felt, what I thought. I'll do like a review on it. So I'll let you know. And so I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I bought. So I got this frame with Mario and Luigi on it. My son loves Super Mario and Luigi and that whole clan. And so does my nephew, Jeremy. And I just, when we went to the Bay Area to see my mom's grave, um, we went to go see him. We all got tested. We all wore masks. We were all outside just to be really, really safe and protect each other. But now I'm still going to do a test afterwards just to make sure. But I'm just trying to wait that five-day period that they say you have to wait and then get tested. But I'm sure we're all fine. But I like to be safe than sorry. Anyway, I took him a gift basket with a lot of gifts and goodies. But I saw this and I thought of him. My son already has it for his birthday in October. Um, my daughter Carolina got him two big frames, one with Mario and one with Luigi. So they're not together, Mario and Luigi, but they're in a separated and the frame is really big. So he's already got his and I found this one and I thought of my nephew because he loves, especially Luigi. He's dressed up as Luigi so many times, but he loves Mario too. So I thought this would be another perfect gift. I'm going to send it to him into the mail, in the mail and surprise him because I won't be seeing him again into the middle or end of January where all our birthdays are in that month. His is the 9th of January. Mine's is the 17th of January. Then we have my granddaughter Isabella's first birthday on the 28th. So we're going to try to do something together if all goes well and everything's okay and everybody's okay. Um, but I didn't want to wait to then. I don't want to give it to him on his birthday and wait to them. I really want him to have it. So I wanted to send him a gift in the mail and give him that extra surprise. So I know he's really, really going to love it. So I've, and it wasn't bad. It was only nine ninety nine. I got it Ross. They only had one. So yeah. So um, that day that I went to Ross, I also found these holiday cheer um, standard pillowcases. They come two in each. I know I've been working on buying pillowcases for my king size pillows, but um, they didn't have the king size. They had these. So these will fit my queen pillows that are on top. And so I got two different kind and I got two of each. I got the plaid, um, red and black plaid, which we're doing this year for our Christmas theme. Uh, you know, along with the Little House on the Perry, because they wore a lot of plaid back then. So our Christmas stockings, our Santa hats, our outfits, you know, our decorations are all red and black plaid. So I thought this would be perfect for my bed. Um, I'm working on finding a comforter to match either all red or all black, or if I can find the plaid, that would be perfect. But plaid is really hard because you can see a picture and it looks bright red. And then when you get it, it's like this. This is, um, this is like a burgundy to me. So, but this is all they had, and I love the design, and I wanted some holiday um, pillow shams. So I got these. They were only $4.99. They come with two in each pack. So I got two of the same one to have all four. That way, if I want to take away my king size pillow, I have a bunch, not a bunch. I have two extra brand new sets that I bought of standard pillows. So I could switch out my king size, and that way I could wear all four, or I could just use one, and on the next round use the other set. So I got those. And then I also found these in the holiday chair um, section as well. This says um, joy, hope, peace, love, faith. I thought that would be perfect. It's also like a burgundy color. It's not your typical regular red or bright red. Um, so, but they're a little lighter than the red and black plaid. So I got two of those as well to have two sets. So I'll wear one. And then while I'm washing and 
interchanging. I have another two to use during the holiday season. So this one I could still use all year round. This one will just be meant for the holiday unless I just want to keep using it. There's no rules that I can't. Um, so and all these words mean a lot to me all through the year. So and it doesn't say Christmas or anything like that. It just says words that mean a lot during Christmas. So yeah, I got these two sets and they were $4.99 each. So I got two of each. So at Ross again, I also found these. Um, this was a different day that I went to Ross um, with my daughter. So I found these Christmas mats. It came, it's a happy holiday face mask. It's adult, one size two pack. Um, it was only $5.99. So I got these and I got two pack because it's four of us here in the family. So like I said, yeah, it comes to in a pack. So I'm getting, I'm buying different Christmas masks. I have a box that are disposable Christmas masks that I'm waiting for. It should have been here yesterday. It's running late. Then I got um, the ones that you saw in the previous video, but I'll go ahead and add a collage that I did of those masks that I previously bought that are Christmas as well from Ross. And these are what these look like. I got one package open already. Actually, because one is not in here. The green one is not in here. So, the red one says naughty and the green ones say nice. So, my daughter chose the green one because at her job, they wear the color green and she wanted to be nice. I don't think nobody's going to want to be naughty. Um, but yeah, so this is another pack that I haven't opened. That Let me take the green one out. Oh my God, I just realized that not all packages have the same stuff. That is so great. What a nice surprise because I don't think nobody really wants to be naughty. We we don't try to be naughty. We try to be very nice people. Um, so I'm going to end up wearing that just for the fun of it. But this one came different. I'm so glad I didn't get two of the same. This one says Elfed Up, which I don't I mean, I know what elves means, but I don't know what that means. Getting Baked. So it's the gingerbread man. So that will be fun. So that way, because I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to give one to my son because he's going to want to be nice. And if I give it to him, then I'm going to be stuck with two naughties and my husband's not going to wear it for sure. So I thought, oh, maybe this wasn't a great idea, but let's just have fun with it. But now I'm really happy because now somebody will take on each one of these and maybe I'll give, um, I'll let my son choose. I always let everybody in my family choose. And I do the last choice so that they're happy and they got exactly what they want. And I'm usually happy as well, whatever I'm left with. Um, or if there's packages with two or three of the same one, then we all can have that one and be happy. However, I just try to work it just to make sure everybody gets a nice one and everybody's happy with the one they got. And if we all have the same, then great too. But this will be nice. So I'll let him choose um, which one he wants. Elfed up. So, I don't know. These are probably really, I don't know what exact, getting baked. So, I don't know if that's a nice thing. I mean, we like to bake gingerbread cookies and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what they mean, but they're fun. They look amazing and they seem like they would be fun to wear. And you can have your own interpretation of it. Getting baked is like just being happy about baking cookies, gingerbread cookies, doing a gingerbread house. I would interpret it like that. Elfed up is just like you love the elves, so you're going to dress like the elves. Um, naughty can have its negative interpretation because it's negative and nobody wants to be naughty. Um, but just for the fun of it, maybe it's something that I'll wear around the house. Um, when I have to wear a mask around the house. Um, but we'll see. You know, I'm not afraid of it. You know, I know who I am. And, you know, what I tr what I mean to say and mean, you know, what I mean to say and say what I mean. I'm that type of person. So I'm not afraid of it. I know the good intentions behind it, even if it's something kind of little negative um, or could be interpreted wrong. So, yeah, this is probably something that I want, who knows? Maybe I'll be bold because I'm a tell it like it is person. So um, maybe just for the fun of it, like being Grinch. I mean, Grinch is a negative thing, but it's also at the same time fun things. It's part of the Christmas story. So people understand it. So people will probably understand it. So we'll just move on and see 
what we decide to do and how it works out. But I'm excited because I just realized this opening it for you. <laughs> so I'm excited. So yeah, I'll let you know which one everybody chooses. Well, you already know my daughter chose the green one because she wears green at work and it says nice, so it's perfect. Um so there's not I thought I was gonna get a nice one too, but no, this is fun. Whatever my my son chooses, I'll use the other one and Maybe I'll give that one to my husband if he's willing to try it or if he just wants to wear his other Christmas mask that we got him um, and then just save this for me for whenever I decide to wear it. So that's what I got as far as mask. So at Ross, I also got these cubbies because I'm changing my bathroom again. Yes, I just changed it a couple of months ago. I was really happy with the design and with the color. But this whole Christmas season has really changed my taste, my color scheme, my design scheme on a lot of things. And at the same time, it's not just for Christmas. These are things that I could still use all year round, so I'll get good use out of it, um, and I'll be able to enjoy it as much as possible. So I'm glad it serves both purposes. It serves a beautiful Christmas season, but it also serves all year round if I want to keep it that way. Um, I'm gonna. I just ordered a curtain, and I'll show a picture right now of that. I said a curtain. I'm, I meant to say a shower curtain, as you just saw. And it's our design that we're using for this Christmas year, of course. So it's the red and black plaid. And it doesn't say any. There was a lot of them that had Christmas scenes, Merry Christmas. It's a wonderful time of year. But I didn't want that because I wanted to be able to use it all year round because that's the color that I'm going to change my bathroom to. Permanently until one day whether it's this year or next year or the year after I see something different and I'm feeling different then I'll change it to whatever I'm feeling at that time but as you know my kitchen my color scheme is red with tints of black um and I love it I did that way before Christmas even was coming and that's the color that I chose and I'm happy with it and you know I just love it so I bought like the new blender, the coffee in red, my microwave oven is red, and all the decorations are red. So it just happened to be perfect for Christmas because Christmas there's a lot of red. And then of course I added Christmas decorative towels and mitts, mitts for the pot holders and all that stuff. I added Christmas red and Christmas decorations and sayings. So but when Christmas is over, I'll still be able to have my whole kitchen red because I started it before Christmas. So I decided that I'm really liking this color. I'm really liking the red and black plaid. So I decided that I'm going to change my bathroom to that. So as you saw, just that's the curtain that I ordered. And I'm going to order a basket and switch it for the round wooden basket that I have there for my reserves. And I'm going to add, I also added some special shower hooks the hooks that came with that shower curtain is just plain white so i'm going to show you the shower hooks that i ordered right now so they were so beautiful they're just that shiny red i just thought would go perfect with the shower curtain so i ordered those and then um i ordered a red bat mat because i just got a mat like a month ago and it felt perfect and it fit the bathroom great and but it kept slipping and sliding and it was it just turned out to be a horrible mat. So I figured now that I'm changing my color scheme in my bathroom um, to red, red and black, um, you know, and I could switch it. I could do an all red shower curtain to keep the red color up. I could keep the red and black. I could do all black, you know, who knows, you know, I can interchange it if I wanted to. 
but I'm definitely thinking I'm going to stick with the red and black for a good while because I'm loving it. I love it in the kitchen for this year that I've changed it. So I know I'm going to continue to love it for a good while. So as you know, I have baskets on the shelves above the toilet um, of my bathroom. And so I'll show you a picture of how it looks now. And so that's how it looks now. And so those baskets won't match with my new red and black color scheme. So of course I had to buy new baskets and I just bought those baskets, but no worries. What I'm going to do with that old whole design since I don't, you know, I don't think I'll ever feel that color again. I've done that color for use for years between that and peach colors. I've always been drawn to that for years and years and years when it comes to bathrooms. And so I'm just not gonna fill it anymore at all. So I'm gonna wash the shower curtain and um, I'm gonna take the baskets, wipe them down even though I just got them, but we have stuff in them so they'll need a wipe down. And I'm gonna give it to my daughter so she can have an interchangeable cause she's got just one set right now and it's black. That's her color scheme, but I'm gonna give it to her um, to change it in her bathroom. I guess I should be facing myself. <sighs> I look crazy because I was about to get in the shower. I wasn't going to do this video right now, but I thought since I'm in my room and I got everything here, let me do it. So never mind my look right now. I'm going to look better in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to offer it to my daughter for, so that she can have something different. Maybe as she's washing her black color stuff in her bathroom, she could change that and just have a different look. I'm going to see if she likes that color or that design because maybe that might not be her cup of tea. Either way, if she doesn't want it, I'll save it and just just see. You just never know what can happen. So, yeah, I was pointing to the baskets the whole time instead of pointing to myself. But anyway, so unfortunately, even though I bought those baskets just recently, I had to change it to match the color scheme. I didn't find any red baskets. I wanted to have red, black, red, black to match the red and black plaid pattern, um, but I didn't see any red. Um, if I do before I change it, then of course I'll incorporate a red. I really wish I would have waited till I got dressed and had my makeup on and stuff to do this video, but I wanted to get out of the way. I had everything in front of me. I was gonna be real busy this afternoon for the next few days, and so I just wanted right while I had it, get it out of the way, be able to use it and knowing that I have already done the video clips to it. So never mind. <laughs> um, but I found two Christmas CDs at Walmart that I just love. And I wanted to share that with you. If you watched my previous video, you know that I have bought two previous CD um, Christmas um, music CDs that I'm loving. And plus I bought a Mark Anthony, which has nothing to do with Christmas. But he was right there next to it. So I got it. So in the previous video... Um, it's a haul that I did. You'll see where I bought those. But I found two more that I really, really like. And I'm going to show you. So this is one of the CDs that I got. I got this at Walmart. It was only $5. That is a steal because Johnny Mathis is one of my all-time favorite singers. I have always loved Johnny Mathis, all of his music. But I especially loved his Christmas music. And it just seemed like that was his favorite time of year because he did a lot of dedication to Christmas music and as you can see here it's the 50th anniversary Christmas celebration and so I can't wait to play this I haven't opened it yet so it has songs like I don't know what the like if you can see it Sleigh Ride the Christmas song Silver Bells my favorite Silent Night Oh Holy Night have have yourself a merry little Christmas it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I can't sing. It's the most wonderful time of year. All of my favorites. And so, yeah, it has like, what is this? 14 songs? I can't see the number. 14 or 15 songs. I don't know. You can see the number, but I cannot wait to play this. And for $5, oh my God, this is amazing. He looks really good here by the Christmas tree. So good, good singer for sure. Then I got this one. I used to buy these. Me and my daughters, when the Now um, series came out years ago, we used to buy every one, starting with number one, number two, number three. And I think it may be at, I don't know, because I don't want to say the wrong number, but it's high in the numbers because it's been out for years and years. My daughter was in high school when they started this, and she's 30. So um, I was happy to find a Now. And then after a certain amount of ones, I think we got to maybe 
20 at the most. We kind of stopped collecting and I regret it because we would have had the whole collection. Maybe there's a way to find the whole collection. I would really love that. It had all kinds of mix of music, R&B, um, soul, um, rap, classic, easy listening, rock. It had a mixture of all kinds of singer and songs and music genres. And so um, I'm going to look into that to see if you can go back and buy all of them since the very beginning and I'll let you know. Um, and I think in my old album, the CD carrying case that I have, I have a few of them. So if I find them, I'll show you how they looked like and what, what are the ones I collected. But this one was eleven eighty eight at Walmart. It's the Now series. And it says, that's what I call Merry Christmas, 20 of your favorite holiday hits. So it has stuff like Justin Bieber, The Mistletoe, Ariana Grande, Winter Things, Pentatonics, Mary, Did You Know? I love when um, CeeLo Green sings it, but let's see how it sounds here. Sam Smith, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Bruce Springsteen, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Has stars like Kelly Clarkson, Nat King Cole, who I love, Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, also great Christmas singers. Johnny Mathis, Andy Williams, Bro Ives, Dean Martin, Alvis Presley, Gene Autry, Jose Feliciano, which is Puerto Rican like me, singing the Famous, famous Feliz Navidad, and many more. The Temptations, Dan, Donna, Donny Hathaway. It this is an amazing CD. So, you know, I could have gave these as stocking gifts. I'm gonna go back and see if they have more. Maybe my daughter would love this. So this is another thing I bought. This is the first one I bought. I believe the beginning towards the middle of this year. It's a mirrored um, glass watch case. Um, I love anything that's mirrored. In fact, I was thinking at one time of collecting the Hayworth uh, mirror collection, which is the dresser and the two nightstands. Very expensive. It's my ultimate dream. One day, maybe I'll have it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so anything mirrored, whether it's a jewelry box, a watch case, a, a makeup or organizer, what have you. I love the mirrored look. And if it has a glass where I can see my stuff, even better. So like I said, this one I bought earlier this year. And I put my most elegant, um, more expensive watches in it. So you'll see my Michael Kors, my Juicy Couture, my be my Relic, my Bebe. This one I got from Mother the Bride for my daughter's wedding. This one she got me a few years ago. It has amethyst stones and it's purple, My one of my favorite colors. So I use it to put my most elegant watches. I used to put all my watches on stuff like this. But when I saw this, I thought, that is my dream watch case. So I chose to put all the most elegant, expensive watches in there. And then just the other day at Ross, I found the matching one. So I thought, okay, perfect. I got six more watches to perfect fit because they both come with six watts. So these I put the rest of my watches, which are two of my Michael Kors. I believe this is Relic. This one I bought, it's a cheaper brand. It's way cheaper than the Apple Watch. Of course, my Apple Watch is the ultimate. But I really like, because my Apple Watch is square, and I wanted a round effect, but I don't want to buy another round Apple or that type of expensive watch just to get a round shape. So I saw this on Amazon, but all of a sudden the charger stopped working. So I don't know if it's something I can fix or if I just need to buy a new one, but I will be careful because I should have returned it. Um, but I have it in there for now and check and figure it out. Or maybe I'll get me another watch and replace it. These two my husband got me for Valentine's Day. I haven't even used them yet. They still have the tag and the turn thing here. This one's a butterfly because I love butterflies. And this is like a soft um, mauve pink. And I haven't even had a chance. They're leather bands. But I haven't had a chance to wear them yet. Um, because I've been wearing my Apple Watch so much um, that... I'm just going to wear them eventually, but I love them because it was a gift for Valentine's Day from him. And so I want to get my use in those watches as well. And I need to find stuff to match them because I like my watches to match my outfit. So I have a little problem here. So I was so excited to find this. And what I love, not only do I find that the mirror look is elegant and classy and so feminine. I don't know. It just calls to me classy and elegance and it's just beautiful the mirror look i clean it make sure it's always nice and clean and i like the fact that it has a glass so i can see the watches if they didn't have a glass where i can see the watches it might bother me even though i love 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 the mirrored thing it would bother me because i want to see my watches i want them to display i want them to be a showcase for me not to impress anybody else just for me and i want to be able to look not having to open the box to look 
<clears throat> they had a lot of leather ones, but I felt like those are masculine for men. And even those have a glass case. So this was perfect that it has the mirror that I love so much. And it has a glass where I can see the watches without having to open it. And it's a beautiful display of what I love is to collect watches. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm really, really happy. As you can see, I have a mirror tray that I've had for like two or three years now. This used to be full of perfumes, but as I evolved, which I still love collecting perfumes and body sprays, love it, love it, love it, still haven't changed, but I'm really um, getting specific perfumes that I really, really love and just not having a big collection and not using some as much. I really wanna get ones that I really love, so that's what I kept and what I have here. But that's how much I love the mirror tray, see? And I still have perfumes. I have the Katy Perry, um, the Marc Jacobs. I have the um, Tommy Bahama. Um, and I just got this one right here. So this is another buy, a part of this haul like. It's the Nicki Minaj perfume. I had it once before and I loved it so much that I ran out and I finally saw it again. So I love it. it smells so good. And then I also bought her body spray, the Nicki Minaj body spray. It smells so good. I also got a guest body spray that's in the bathroom, and I'll show you that in a minute. Guest body spray that I also bought the same day that I bought the Nicki Minaj body spray and the perfume. Um, this smells so good, but I go back and forth between the bathroom and the room because um, the one, the body spray that I have in the bathroom now is Paris Hilton, and I'm kind of running out. But I didn't have to worry about bringing it back and forth because I had the perfume in here if I wanted that same smell. But I don't have a guest perfume, so I'm going back and forth. I'll take it to the bathroom when I take a shower if I'm going to use the smell. And then I'll bring it back to be a part of my little body spray collection here. So it goes right there normally. And my lotion goes there. But yeah, so, and I'm planning on getting a whole lot more body sprays, a whole lot more perfumes, but I'm picking them wisely. And, you know, I got these acrylic jars, which I'm kind of not wanting anymore. So I'm hoping that I can find a mirror um, organizer to match along with my uh, mirrored watch case and my mirror tray. So I'm hoping to find that and then I can replace these acrylic jars. But until now, they're good. I love them. And then they just go with everything. So that's some of the latest.